Once again, we thank the press for coming on these occasions. It's still fresh in the minds of this family and losing their loved one. I want to ask um, Pastor Maynard to offer up a short prayer for the family, the mother and the father. I'm pretty sure they're going through some rough times. So, uh, Reverend Maynard, would you say a short prayer, please? Father of God, in your name, we come before you as humble as we know how. But, God, we ask you to have mercy on the family. God, God you see the injustice that's going on in the land. And you sent us out to be advocators for you, God. And you told us to fight in your name. And God bless the family right now. Comfort them where they need to be comforted right now. For it is in your name. Amen. 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 We want to send our condolences out once again to the family for the loss of this, their loved one and the sense of this duties duty. We are here today because we want justice for Saudi Lee. We want justice and we want the justice right now. But we also hear to clear up the myths that this mayor was putting out about this organization. This organization is here to stay. It's not going anywhere, Mayor Johnson. It would be best for you to work with this organization to deal with some of the issues that's in your city like crime, like the property rate. We have called for a couple of meetings with you, Mayor Johnson, to no reveal. So evidently you're not interested. But like I said, this organization is here to stay. We also want to talk gently with the DA. We do not want six months, six weeks before she come out with the decision of showing the videotape and what happened to Mr. Lee. We would like to see that videotape immediately since the GBI has finished the investigation. There's no reason to hold back on the video. This family needs closure and they need closure now. So we asking you, please, release that video immediately, immediately. Now, we're going to hear from the family, and after the family will be Reverend Maynard. Good afternoon. All I ask is for you all, the DA, to do right Amen. by my son, in Jesus' name. Father. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I just want justice for my son, Sade Lee. Amen. And I'd like the truth to come out. And once the truth come out, everything will surveil. That's all I want. The, 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 the facts of my son, what happened and how it happened, that's all I want. And I just want the truth. And once the truth come out, it's all different. Yes, my name is Timothy, Timothy Lee. And we're looking for justice for my nephew because of what happened was wrong. Now that the GBI has went over the case, they know that he was running for his life, they say. They say that uh, he, he never pulled a gun, he showed a holster. So with the training that the officer should have known better, he shouldn't have never shot him. He should have said, stop, hold. He had a taser, he should have used his taser. But what he did was wrong, he knew it was wrong. He was doing wrong in the neighborhood for a while now. And they know that, they know his background. They see all the information that is coming out about him. So we want justice. We need justice, we need peace. We miss my nephew. We miss hearing his voice. Hand him what he liked to eat for his favorite dinner. His mother loved cooking for him. We miss him greatly. So we want justice. Thank you. Good afternoon, press. Thank you for coming. Thank you 
Lee family for allowing us to fight with you. Thank you, Elder, for clearing up that those misconceptions that we're not from here. But we're from here. I'm from here. I'm the chapter's pr local president from Savannah, Georgia. But let's talk about justice. We're talking about a young man by the name of Sadi Lee that went and got a permit because the because the governor of this fine state said we have open care. And because it's an open care, he should have not been chased by anybody. He had that right to have that open uh, a weapon. But then on top of that, he went and got a permit because he knew that some some thing or somebody would echo. Then we got this young man. Well, I, I wouldn't even say young man. We have this man in our community that wreaked havoc on the, on the community. And he did not only wreak havoc on our community, but he was a menace on every job he went to. He, he was being reprimanded for beating up inmates. Why was he allowed to come on SPD? And, and if they would have stopped him a month before, he had already cut the, the body cam off three times, three occasions. Not one, not two, but three occasions. He cut his body cam off and he afflicted body and, and brutal force on our citizens. And he was under investigation for that. And then a month after that, he turned around and took the life of Saudi Lee. We're asking, we're, we're not asking, we're demanding justice for this family. We're demanding justice. And DA, we've seen all and heard all. Now we're asking you to do the right thing. As Elder has pointed out, we want to hear and we want to see that you bring this to, to, to quickly. We want a, a speedy process because we want to put this, they, they can never get closure. Never ever, ever get closure. But we want to make sure that we get them some justice. And for those who are listening to us, Savannah, Georgia, we have a 1-800 a number for social justice. If, you're, if, you're, if you need our help in, in Savannah, Racial Justice Network, I'll, and I'll have Elder come back and give you the number. For a city that is 150,000 people or less, the police relating shooting is pretty high. In 2001, there were 100 police relating shooting in Savannah, Georgia. By August, by August of 2021, there were 69 police relating shooting. By in August, that's 10 more in August of 2022. This police department is out of control. They need to be revamped. This police department needs to, I don't know who's the mayor, uh, mayor uh, the, uh, the citizen is going to select the new police chief for Savannah, Georgia, but they need to do some serious training here in Savannah, Georgia. Instead of this mayor putting all that money to call the feds in on high crime, maybe he needs to put some of that money in his police department to better train them also in taking lives in uh, Savannah, Georgia. Racial Justice Network will be having a crime summit here in Savannah, Georgia at the end of September and hopefully the mayor would put some money toward the crime summit. He made a remarks that was very insulting to the citizens of this community about this organization needs to pay more attention to the black on black crime than police shooting. We do that every single day, we do that. But mayor, your police department is paid to protect the citizens of Savannah, Georgia. That's your job. The citizens are here to help you with 
with crime in your community? Have you reached out to all the citizens to help you about the crime in your community? Now we are here. You put your money where your mouth at. We are here to help you dealing with this crime. And we also here hoping that you revamp this police department for killing people. This is too much killing in this city. So we ask you to reach out to Racial Justice Network. We try to reach out to you to no avail, but you reach out to Racial Justice Network and we will be there for you to help deal with this crime. But, but Mayor, you can't overlay, overlook the poverty rate. Last year the poverty rate was 21.9, this year is 24.1. So you got a job you got to do. And if you don't do that job well, I ask the citizen of Savannah to vote you out of office. Vote you out of office. So, Mayor, we here to stay. This is a young lady right here. Her son is going through with the Savannah Police Department as well. She's asking for justice as well. See, we fight for the least, the lost, and the left out. We fight for those who can't advocate for themselves. When they're, a po when, when they're black on black, as he stated, crime in our community, I'm the first one on the scene. I'm there. My, my crew is there. We're there. But when there are other issues, this young lady has an issue. And we're asking, we're demanding that we have a, a meeting with them, with the new, the new chief, and let's get to the bottom of, of her issue. That, that's all we're asking. And there is a there is a one eight hundred. I'm calling Elder back up for that one eight hundred number. Please hold it up. The one eight hundred number is one 694 nineteen eighty one. Remember that one 694 nineteen eighty one. Any questions? Well, this organization have not heard anything. Samantha, you hear anything? I haven't heard. Family, Listen. have you heard anything? I haven't heard anything. No. no. As of yet. As of yet. Um, another question that I have. say there's a lack of trust that the DA is fairly new. I think uh, in my conversation with her in the past that she's going to do the right thing. It was very disappointing in the, in the, in the Maynard case, the, in the Missy case. case, I'm sorry, in the Missy case, because I think uh, when the GPI lied about uh, pointing the gun, that she would have uh, uh, charged the officer. But we want to see exactly what she's going to do this time. for transparency but we've been getting smoke and mirrors ever since then every issue but this issue has came up uh, you hide behind every issue and you're you're talking about everything but justice you're, you, you do you're talking about everything but this case you're talking about uh, we're not from here you you're bringing all these issues up let's get to let's stick to the issue at hand the issue at hand is getting justice investigating and finding out why was that an officer allowed to wreak havoc on Carver Village and the citizens of Carver Village? And why wasn't he, why wasn't he investigated before he was even hired on? And then after he was hired on, and he took and cut off his 
body cam three times. Why wasn't he fired immediately? Why? These are questions we're asked. And why is Savannah Police Department didn't do a thorough investigation on him? You know, uh, and when it comes out now, you know, they didn't do a thorough investigation. You got somebody who shot and killed somebody. You know, that is that is totally wrong. You know, that's what, but we also, and you all know we filed at the Justice Department and we send the governor a letter uh, uh, there in Atlanta, Georgia. We had not heard back from the governor's office yet of the Justice Department, so we resent in the letter. Hopefully we'll hear something from those agencies, uh, especially the Justice Department, in coming and doing an investigation here uh, on a Mr. Lee case. But we're asking them to do an investigation on the whole Savannah policemen with these numbers that we see here with all the peop people that get uh, a police-related shooting in the last two years. Uh, it warranted an investigation by the Justice Department to see if this police department is really capable of handling the, the people in this city. Well, we was having a sleepless night, and every day I miss him. You know, I miss him when I go around and when I when he come to the house or. When we together, we always having a game, playing a game of going to the basketball rack, right? playing basketball. It's just been hard, you know. When you lose a child, it's hard. Ain't nothing to replace that. You can't replace that. So I just want Justin for a Saudi Lee. That's all I want. We miss him every day. Every day. Every day. In the moment that I wake up, I don't think about him missing. Walk to the door and look for him. No Saudi. He's not coming back. So I just want justice for my son, and that's it. Just want justice. He made my son and my family. Brothers and sisters. We want justice for all of them. But he, this only him. He got your brothers and sisters too. So I just want justice for all. And that's the end of it. Thank you. All right. Like I said earlier, there's too many black families and uh, that's crying. Mothers and fathers are crying because of the senseless shootings of their loved ones. So what we have to do is make sure that this police department itself is being rebuilt from the top to the bottom. Rebuilt from top to bottom. And we will be asking the Justice Department to look at all the violations of this police department, their credibility, their credibility and everything. We're asking the Justice Department to look at you. Thank you. Thank you.